If you're in the market for a mid-profile fifth wheel at a very affordable price and super high quality, you have got to check out Alliance's Avenue Series. We have a special treat for you today. Stick around, folks. Hey everybody, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we have a special guest. We're going to meet Ryan Brady from Alliance RV and they have a brand new line of fifth wheels that just came out called their Avenue Series and we're here with Ryan to go ahead yeah. and walk through together. So hey, Ryan, Mike. nice great, to see you yeah, again. Yeah, great to see you again. appreciate you guys coming out and uh, seeing us. We are in our brand new Avenue product. Uh, this is a mid-profile fifth wheel. Uh, so we've been in the market with our Paradigm, which yep. is a full profile fifth wheel. And uh, last fall we launched our Valor uh, toy haulers. And so this year, this fall, uh, we're launching the Avenue product. So this is targeting, um, you know, a wider range of tow vehicles, you know, some half ton, some three quarter ton vehicles. Right. Um, we are in the 30 RLS here, um, which is about 33 feet. Uh, 9,500 pounds, and this is really the, the grand unveiling here at the Hershey Show. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, and uh, the the crowd and the reception of this line of RVs has been amazing. I it, mean, it's been packed over here the past couple days at the Hershey Show. It, it has been. <laughs> so true to form with our other Alliance brand launches, you know, we spent a considerable amount of time developing the product, you yeah. know, engaging with RVers and trying to listen, you know, for the feedback to incorporate into this rig to just, you know, make it a little bit better. Uh, than our competition. And, and you always think you have a good product, right? But until you get that validation firsthand from yeah. campers coming in and seeing it, yep. um, you don't know. And yep. so this week has been really encouraging. The feedback has been really strong on the product. That's fantastic. So other than being at RV shows and you know meeting customers face to face, yeah. how, how do you communicate with your customers? Yeah, good typically? question. Um, we have a really active Facebook page, yep. which I'll plug. It's Alliance RV Group. Uh, it's an active community. I think we're up to 14,000 members yeah. uh, on the page. And so we'll We'll put floor plan renderings out there. We'll do you know design snapshots and just try to get the feedback. You know, hey folks, if you have a, a mid-profile fifth wheel, what do you like? What do you not like? Yeah. And you know, of course, we can't be everything to everyone. But if we you know hear some you know, some consistency with the feedback, you know, we know we're onto something. And so yeah. really, you know, with all of our brand launches, um, you know, we've kind of crowdsourced it. You know, it's kind of a culmination of incorporating that feedback into our units. Yeah, and that's fantastic. And we hear about that all the time because we have our own uh, Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies yep. and some of your Facebook people yep. are in our group. So we hear all the time about how active the Alliance Facebook group is and everyone that's in there feels like their voice is heard. They no do question. make suggestions. and They do. And we listen. We call them our allies and part yeah. of the, the yeah. fam uh, ally. Uh, and it's been a great resource. We uh, we actually did an owners rally uh, in August where we had 150 of our product owners uh, in Elkhart and we hosted them for a few days and did factory tours. And we actually had uh, one of our avenues on display. And again, another that's great cool. opportunity for the feedback. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, w here we are inside of this brand new avenue. And I, I was wowed when I first walked in here. I mean, the first thing you notice, for me at least, yeah. is just how bright it is how I like the natural wood tones really brighten things up. It just feels fantastic. Wow, I appreciate in here. that. So Ab Saleh, who's our uh, general manager, who really was instrumental in the development of the product. He he really wanted to accomplish, you know, just like you said, something that's bright even on a cloudy day. Yeah. You walk in, it just feels good, and yep. that's kind of been the response. Customers walk in and, and they feel it, and they feel that it's different too. Yeah. You know, you see this decor, uh, this kind of natural wood grain with the white wood grain. Um, it's different than what's out there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's very unique from, especially we've been walking around and touring yeah. just about every RV yeah. here. So you guys definitely have a leg up on the decor part. Well, thank you. So let's talk about the design yeah, and so all about this features. fifth wheel. Yeah, so we, you know, we didn't want to just come out with another, you know, me too, uh, uh, mid profile fifth wheel. So we, we've obviously had a lot of success with our Paradigm product. Yeah. And so we've rolled in a lot of the features uh, from that uh, segment into this segment. So some things like carpetless interiors, uh, mm -hmm. we've incorporated, uh, you know, maximizing storage. We do the flip up uh, countertops here. Uh, we have the big windows. We talked about the brightness. Yeah, similar the windows the, are amazing. Similar to the paradigm, you're, you're camping, right? Yeah. You, know, you want to you know, you know, you see take outside. in the outdoors and see outside. And we yeah. have the nice big, you know, atrium windows throughout. Yep. Uh, the really unique thing that we did though, is we went with a wide body construction. 
Okay. So we are 101 inches wide, whereas most, uh, you know, smaller fifth wheels are going to be the 96 inches. Right. And so five inches, you know, it, it's meaningful, right? It opens up the coach when you walk inside. Yeah. You know, little things like this, you know, your, your sleeper sofa on the rear wall, you know, that folds out into a bed and it makes, you know, a proper sofa. Right. Whereas right. if you're narrow body, you don't quite, uh, you're not quite able to accomplish that. Yeah. You know, when you have a bed slide, the ability to walk around it better, um, just really opens up the coach. The other neat thing we did, and so in our development, you know, we wanted to make sure we were hitting the weight category, right? And so, you know, when you widen the coach, mm -hmm. you know, that's gonna add, you know, some weight to, to sure. the rig, yeah. but we offset that with the fact that we are laminating our floor. So we do a, a, a fully laminated floor. We laminate uh, in-house in our uh, lamination facility. And so that, you know, takes out some weight. And then similar to our Paradigm product, we're also doing the Asdale in the sidewall. And so, yeah. Asdale, considerably lighter weight. It's a composite material versus the um, conventional Luan, which is right. you know, a wood substrate. Right, it's a heavier product. It's wood, it's prone to problems with yep. moisture and all that, and the Asdale is a much better product. Much better. Uh, and so this rig, you know, it's 33 feet, it's 9,500 pounds. So you think yeah. about it yeah. from a, you know, a tow vehicle uh, category, you know, we're hitting you know, certainly a three quarter ton, and even some of those newer half tons you know, could uh, potentially get into this. Yeah. Which is phenomenal. I mean, that's yeah. the whole thing, right? You can reach a wider audience. Exactly. Folks with smaller trucks can now haul a fifth wheel around behind. Exactly. Yeah, so a couple other things that we've done here, you know, similar to the, uh, I mentioned the soft close cabinet doors. We're always trying to maximize storage. This was a unique uh, little thing that we've done here. This TV pulls out. Uh, so you have great storage uh, oh, behind yeah. there. Yep. Um, this and was, you, can, you can swivel your TV you around can to swivel see it, it around. from where you are. Uh, of course, you got the fireplace. We do do two air conditioners standard okay. uh, in all of the uh, Avenue products. Uh, just like in the Paradigm, we do the direct uh, dump AC, right. which we found to be considerably more efficient, right? Rather than ducting it through the ceiling and all exactly. that. Exactly. So, you know, the hottest part of, of campers is up in that ceiling, that right. hot attic. And, yep. you know, by the time that cool air reaches a vent, you know, eight feet away, you know, you reduce some of the efficiency of it. So yeah. we take that cool air and we dump it right into the, uh, to the camper. Um, this was a great thing that we've been able to incorporate, you know, that flush kitchen slide. Yeah. Eliminating that, that kind of toe stubber in the kitchen. We've know. seen some of the competition try to emulate this, but you guys really have nailed it. I mean, no one has a, a lower profile in their slides that yeah. I've seen. It, anyway. It's been great and uh, it, it's proven. You know, we've, we've built approximately 3000 paradigms and it's performing, you know, really well in yeah. the field. Yeah. You know, we got a good, good size oven here. We have uh, a good size uh, cooktop with an oven and we've also centered it. So you have the countertop uh, on each side. Yep, I like that. Yeah, we do nice, you know, solid surface countertops uh, in the avenue. You know, just like in the Paradigm, we reinforce all of our drawer bottoms, yep. which again, we found uh, customers had the complaint that if they put too much weight in their drawers, yeah. panels could fall out. Absolutely, we see it all the time. You, you knock on them and they vibrate and they no sound question. terrible. <laughs> um, all of our heat registers in the main living areas are above floor. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll, uh, uh, you know, we put them in the island and other areas above floor just to right. eliminate that crumb catcher, right? Right. And so I like that. We heard the complaint, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking, I'm, I'm using, I'm you know, eating in my uh, kitchen area, and then those things are hard to clean, right? Yeah. And so by raising them above floor, we've uh, eliminated that issue. It's a good idea. Uh, we've incorporated our shutoff valves uh, below. So all of our plumbing locations, I think we got a bag here. I'll move oh, that's, that's my bag. <laughs> oh, you're good. So you see that shutoff valve. So, you know, we found before if a camper had, uh, you know, a, a leak at a faucet, you know, that could be a situation that they could go down for the weekend. Right. And so we wanted to provide the ability to isolate that leak to still yeah. use your camper, uh, so that, uh, you know, you didn't have to you know, shut it down for the weekend. So for every faucet in the camper, you have valves right we at the do. location. Yep. And that's then on the great. toilet too. That's yeah, fantastic. That's a little thing. Again, that was something that we heard from, from our community of RVers was, hey guys, this is this would be a really nice feature. I have it in my house. Yeah, exactly. If I was I just gonna say, it it's my, just like our house. If I could have it in my RV, that would be great too. <laughs> um, working our way around here, you know, we're always cognizant of having lots of outlets. You'll see both sides of the, uh, the oven there. We do a nice uh, USB charger there. Yeah. Uh, from a decor standpoint, you know, you got your back lid at nighttime. This thing looks really sharp. Yeah. We've also uh, put our lights on dimming switches. Oh, very nice. So we've heard this was a really common uh, aftermarket modification that we we saw. And so we said, you know what, if people are doing it 
often, right? With these LEDs, they're great, but they can be almost they too can be bright too much. at yeah, times. Yeah. And so working our way into the slide here, you'll notice the ceiling height in this slide box, right? These yeah. are really tall slides yeah, in you're here, right. yep. uh, which again, opens up the, the coach. We incorporate this ottoman, which actually has storage underneath. And so you can take this cushion, lift it up and take the ottoman out. It's a great sitting area oh, very uh, nice. uh, for your RV. Yep. Um, all of our windows, you know, we talked about the big atrium windows. They have the sliders so you can get the nice cross ventilation. Um, we have the theater style seating here with cup holders, of course. They recline. Uh, great use of space with the storage yep. uh, there as well. We have the shoe storage that we've incorporated. Oh, yeah, right under the steps. Um, we have the, uh, your control panel here. And so, you know, we found in talking to our community of RVers, you know, the, you see some guys with the, uh, the touch pads, which, you know, they're, they're neat. But yeah. from a performance standpoint, we've also heard some complaints around those, okay. right? And so we have the tried and true uh, buttons here, uh, everything centralized here, easy access. You open your camper door and you can access all your, your lighting and your, uh, your slide mech controls and yep. your awnings. So this is a this is probably my favorite floor plan. Again, we're hitting a totally new uh, weight category with this uh, unit. This is only 33 feet, 9,500 pounds. Good size shower, um, medicine cabinet, great storage throughout. You can put a hanging bar there for towels. Beautiful wardrobe here. And this is something I always like to point out to customers when they come in. So again, this is a what we call a north south bed. And because we're wide body, right? You really notice it in the walking around on this yeah. bed. With the narrow body, this can be a really tight area. You know, it makes it much easier to make your bed at night, to get out of the bed. You're not crawling in at the foot of the bed uh, to get in there. Like outlets on both sides, the USB chargers, both sides as well. Even this little window there. You know, it would have been real easy for us to not incorporate that window but it brightens it up in here. You get nice cross ventilation yeah. as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. Let's see, again, I'm, we got the dimmer lights back here. So if oh, that's a nice here, feature. Yeah, and then the lighting, you look at this lighting, a lot of these lights, you know, they come down an inch or two. We use this can style light, which from a decor standpoint, it, you know, it's beautiful, but it also, when you're getting in and out of the bed, yep. it takes an inch or two. Uh, off that ceiling height. Yeah, the low low profile LEDs are very nice. Yeah. And the dimmable feature is fantastic. Yeah. I really like that. Ab did a nice job incorporate, you know, great storage here with the drawers. I think we have a cabinet door there. Uh, great overhead space as well. Yep. Again, I just love the natural blonde, you know, the brightness of this wood grain in here too. Storage below. You know, and lots of, of it. Lots yeah. of storage. You guys Beds use every struts. single spot you can in here. We try to, you know, it's, it's always, that's top of mind with any uh, RV or storage, storage, storage. So yeah. anywhere we can incorporate additional storage, we try to do so. So as you can tell, Alliance puts a lot of thought into the design and all the features that they include inside their fifth wheels. But there's one other aspect of this company that we have been completely impressed with, again, because we talk to your customers all the time too. And that is the customer service aspect that you guys bring to the industry, which I feel like is amazing. And so yeah. do all your customers that we talk yeah. to. No, I appreciate that. It's something that that's important to us. Yeah. You know, our customers, you know, these things aren't cheap, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, they deserve a great ownership experience. We, we try very, very hard uh, to build great quality and we, and we do. Uh, we believe we're better in our competition, but at the same time, you know, as we know, these are hand-built, you know, RVs, right? Yep. Rolling down the road at 60, 70 miles per hour and issues can arise. And so, you know, we owe it to our customers that if there is an issue, we stand behind what we build. And so as we've you know, grown our, our, our company, we're up to three brands now, we've invested heavily in our service function, just making sure that customers have that peace of mind of knowing that we as a manufacturer have their back yeah. uh, uh, from a service standpoint. And we have heard that time and time again from your customers yep. as well. It's just fantastic. Yeah, Bill Curtis and our service team back in Elkhart do a phenomenal job. Yeah. So if people are interested in, you know, seeing an Alliance yeah. RV somewhere, what's what's well, the best way for them to so find you guys? AllianceRV.com okay. uh, is our website. We do have a dealer locator there. All right. So I would encourage people to hop onto that. Again, we do have a Facebook page, Alliance RV Group. But uh, yeah, we're fully transparent. Uh, send us an email. Uh, on our website and uh, we'd love to be in touch and engage with uh, you know potential RVers. 
Well, guys, we want to thank Ryan for taking us on the tour today of their newest Avenue fifth wheel product. It is just amazing. We're really super impressed with it, and yeah. we thank you for your time. Absolutely. Mike, Susan, it was uh, great seeing you guys. Appreciate you coming through and checking out the, uh, the brand new Avenue. Absolutely. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below, and please subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do, and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. So for Mike, Ryan, Susan, thanks for watching. Remember to leave your campsite better than how you found it, and we'll see you next time.